What's going on, PewTube Nation? It's your boy, Clean Cow, and we are at it once again on this lovely Saturday night, November 23rd, 2019. I was originally scheduled to be in Chantilly, Virginia at one of the nation's largest gun shows with Coastal Tactical. Um, but we ran into so many logistical obstacles that kind of uh, impeded that process. And uh, at the end of the day, it kind of felt like God was saying, you know, I put these setbacks because maybe you don't need to be here. But I don't want to pretend like uh, I know the, the mind of God, like he said that to me, that's just what it felt like. Um, had this been a year ago, I probably probably would have been uh, very irate and distraught that things didn't happen the way that I wanted them to. But, uh, you know, ever since God has really been working on me and dealing with me in such a powerful way, uh, so much more stronger than any time in my life. Uh, I just count it all as joy. So I, I was cool with it, you know, either way. And, you know, I, I got to sit back and hang out with the family. And we're going to go ahead and give you guys a review today. And I know I say I use plural uh, a lot, but today my wife is actually helping me with this video. Um, so we can get as good a review as we can get with the phone as we can. So before we get into it, I'm gonna start this video uh, as we do all the others and as by giving all the praise, glory, honor, and reverence to Jesus Christ, my savior, and hopefully yours. So we're gonna segue into the scripture passage that I'm going to give you guys today, and that's coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13, as read in the KJV. So, it says, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So, for me, this is uh, such an integral and meaningful uh, piece of passage because in today's society, in today's era of technology and celebrityism, all of it isn't, you know, uh, TV, media, entertainment, everything focuses so much on materialism. It's, you know, I need this nice car, I need the nice fancy house. I see what this person has on Instagram and I look at my life and it's like, man, I'm how old and I should have what they have and, you know, so it is very easy in today's culture to become distracted by so many things. And this passage really speaks to me. And um, I wanted to give it to you guys today because I want to encourage you, um, especially for my, my believers. So especially for those of us who are already part of the body of Christ. I want to challenge you guys to really look outside of what the magazines, TV, and the music, you know, media is telling you that you should strive for. Because this passage is really declaring and showing us that God is going to, he's going to judge our works. You know? now, we're not going to be judged for our sin. You know? Our sins were already forgiven on the cross and Jesus Christ shed his blood for us. With our works, you know, our works will be judged. And we will be rewarded thusly for how we stewarded, you know, our, uh, our leadership, discipleship in, in uh, you know, in Christ Jesus. So with that being said, um, this passage is really pushing us to work towards eternal uh, value as opposed to accomplishments that are great and glorious in the eyes of man. So if I ran the uh, 100 meter 
dash in the Olympics and got the gold medal and I, I came home and, you know, every uh, news outlet wants to interview me. You know, that's great as a, you know, that's, that's a great accomplishment uh, for a human being, but it holds, it honestly holds no return of value. Um, God is not going to say, hey, man, you did such a great job running that race uh, in the Olympics that I'm going to do something extra special for you in eternity. It doesn't work that way, uh, nor should it. Um, and I'm not trying to apply my human emotion to that, but, you know, when you look at scripture, man, it's really about the heart. Um, it really focuses on what we can do for each other, our brothers and sisters. So the greatest thing that we can do as believers, um, the greatest gift that we could give, the greatest thing that we could ever achieve in this life is honestly leading another soul to Jesus Christ, to salvation. That is a jewel and crown that is eternal reward in heaven. So definitely wanted to give you guys a bit of uh, spiritual food uh, before we get into today's review which is going to be on the 511 tactical this is from that low visibility line and this is the uh, m4 20 meter low vis rifle so we'll just get right into it um, i got a, a couple of things already in here this top pouch, this is just a uh, external uh, admin bag or whatever. I mean, whatever you can fit in here. Uh, you could probably fit like IFAX or you know, some medical gear or something like that in there. Um, this is actually the fast loader from the uh, Canon TP9 Elite Combat. Um, I don't use it too much, but I just have it in there. Maybe those days when my fingertips are just ate up and beat up real bad and uh, that just aids in uh, reloading the magazine. Um, this is a this is a battery port charger from microphone um, tack light but Either way, this is this is the, the charger that I use on my rifle uh, tack light, um, and it is for the. I don't want to sit here and ramble about what battery it is for. Um, but yeah, this is for your rechargeable uh, battery. So it has a USB cord on it, so you can hook that up to. And whatever whatever will accept a USB cord and that helps so you don't have to keep buying batteries over and over. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have a lighter. I don't smoke but I mean it's just good to have a lighter. You never know what you're running to. Uh, this is the UTG microfiber cloth that's just good for wiping down the uh, the glass and the optic. Uh, what else? Okay, this is my Gerber multi-tool. I've literally had this thing since 2012. It was it was a gift from my unit administrator when I was serving as a civil affairs specialist in the army. So, and then this also this also doubles as a. Uh, identifier sleeve or whatever you want to call it. So you can put morale patches in here or whatever if you want to you know, run the uh, lining of the pocket out like that. That just helps you to identify that's your bag. I, however, not choose to run it that way. So it is what it is. I'm not really going to worry about putting everything on the back. Um, and here, I really, really, really dig this compartment. <clears throat> um, and before we even go there, I really love how slim and streamlined the bag is. It's it is it's really a minimalist bag, and I'm a minimalist type of person. So I like to, you know, I know I'd rather have and not need and need and not have, but I like to if I could calculate everything down to what I just need, I would prefer it that way. So uh 
big ups to 511 for really designing this thing uh, to be very, very slick and sleek. So here I have my, these are my uh, MS, MGS lightweight uh, shooter's gloves, sensor shooter gloves from Outdoor Research. So I really, these are my absolute, absolute favorite favorite shooting glove in the, in the entire world. Um, it has, this is, I believe it's like goat leather. I'm um, on the palm. And of course you have your sensor technology for touch screens. Uh, but these are next to skin shooters gloves. So, you know, you have this thin lining, um, but it, it really aids to the uh, dexterity. And the time your emotion and things. So I love these gloves. These are actually my third pair because I'm stupid. And I would recommend if you're going to get gloves from out the research to you their sizing chart because I kept uh, kept ordering smalls and I was uh, an articulation in the fingers. I kept busting the seams out because according to their size chart, I wear a medium. So ever since then, these things have been awesome. Really love these gloves. Uh, we'll have an issue with somebody trying to take them from me. Um, so if you come a little closer, uh, and here we have the Condor, and this is a uh, triple, this is a kangaroo triple, I don't even know how you say it, but it's a triple uh, M4 pistol kangaroo uh, magazine pouch. So that just really means that they're is a pouch for the uh, AR, M4, AK, whatever. Whatever platform you're running, uh, that primary uh, weapon magazine would run here, and then of course you have a uh, room for the pistol mag. Um, and this is in the olive drab. I had this just for, I probably should have uh, detached this so that you can see there is a panel of molly webbing uh, under this and not only is it molly it's also velcro so for like hip and loop type of attachments you know, you know you have these aftermarket uh, bags from uh, I believe Haley Strategic makes some um, Vertex just a, a bunch of companies that make these uh, the admin pouches and stuff, so you can throw that Velcro right on there. Um, but I have mine threaded through for the uh, because this is not this is not a this is not a uh, it's not a go bag. This is my rifle bag. And I know some of you guys might be like, "Where is your IFAG and health stuff and all that?" I have been studying uh, medicine since I was 16, so trust me, I get it, I understand the importance of all that stuff, but that's for another video. So we have that, this is my uh, AR, this is just a, um, this is from Fab Defense, and this is really just a, this is for a fast man, so you know, we'll attach here, and that is there, so when I have my uh, plate carrier uh, rigged up, and I'm running it, the fast mag sits there, so I can just easily reach behind and I have something ready to go. There are rounds actually in there, so I'll just let you know for the, the folks out there that may be wondering. Um, and in here, we can get it out. Um, what is this? So this is just my armor's wrench. I like to keep tools around for the, you know, for the, the weapon. Um, it's just in there in case I need to do some infield maintenance uh, when I'm at the range and you know, whatever. So this was about, this was like nine bucks at Academy Sports. Stummy. So, just fine, serve me well. And then in here, so this compartment is, it is, I mean, you can fit a lot in here. Now, I'm not telling you guys to run it the way that I have mine set up, but 
again, this is this is like my personal defense rifle bag for my long rifle. So this bag is really designed around uh, personal defense and ammunition. So down here I have my this is my plate carrier from my AR500 armor, and this is the AR Freeman plate carry. Really love this thing. I know some people are, you know, uh, it's so small. This is like nine by nine. I think it's nine by nine and 10 by 10. Um, you guys should know me by now. I don't, I never have all my details the way I should, but, um, you know, it's, it's fairly small and you do have a lot of uh, area left open, but I am a fan of mobility over protection. Um, you know, when it's, when it's your time to go, it's just your time to go. This is just something to help me stay in the fight uh, longer and just give me a, uh, an added advantage of, um, you know, getting home or helping defend uh, innocence. So, um, I really, 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 really love this thing. Um, it is, these are, I don't want to get into too much detail about them because we'll, you know, we'll review this in a different video, separate video. Um, this is you know, level three body armor, so it is nine by nine. This is nine by nine. These are the flat ones. I know they make the curved ones, but the flat ones, you know, get me just fine, and I save some some extra money. Also, and AR five hundred, I, I would definitely recommend you guys check them out because they make uh, personal protection uh, affordable at a you know no nonsense uh, price tag. So there's really no excuse that you couldn't afford something like that. I believe. Uh, military discount, even without the military discount. I think I paid somewhere around like 120 bucks uh, taxes and shipping for that thing. So very good there. Um, silica gel uh, packets. I like these things. I didn't know for the longest what they were used for. And ever since I found out, I keep all of these and I just throw them in the bag. I'll throw these things in uh, ammo cans or, or really anything metal. Um, it just helps keep the uh, moisture out, helps with rusting and all that. So keep your, your silica gel back. This is just a mesh uh, admin pouch. Um, I have different things, more. Uh, more toolkit type items. This is for the uh, Canon Elite Combat. Um, this has like the um, magazine release buttons, screws, and you know, wrenches and stuff like that. So, uh, passport, gotta have one of those. Uh, definitely need some stamps in that one. Um, these are some attachments uh, that go to the Survivor Sling from Coastal Tactical. Plug! Um, another one from Coastal Tactical. These are, this is like a bag of uh, hex wrenches, outer wrenches, and uh, microfiber cloth. But you see there, it's some, uh, some silica gel packing in there. So, it, it aids in the longevity. Um, this is my, this is a Magpul hand stop. This is the pieces to it. I had it on my on my AR for a while, and and then I don't know, man. I was missing my vertical, my gunfighter grip, four grip from my uh, cane arm. I was missing it, and I, I had to throw it back on. So, you know, got this in there in case I want to go back or for you know another platform. Um, and then I just have my like, charger. This is the magnetic charge, magnetic. Charger for the uh, Olight PL Pro Valkyrie um, or Rifle Attachment. Stuff like that. So, yeah, man. So, I mean, you can definitely, you can definitely arrange this bag the way you want it, you know, to run it. You can put 
smack somebody. I don't know. Whatever. And, you know, don't talk to me about go bag and all that stuff because if I'm talking about a go bag, it's going to be multiple go bags because realistically, you can't fit all the things that, you know, you, you, you might, I'm going to say want in a go bag because um, being completely honest as a warrior, don't really need any of this stuff. This just makes my my time easier. So that's there. And then for the main compartment, um, and it has uh, so there there you know it isn't uh, these are YKK zippers, but it doesn't have like the actual you know, zipper handle. These are you know. It has like the pull tab, like the uh, paracord pull tab, which I like. So it helps with the, you know, if you like that covert silent thing. And then speaking of covert, um, this bag virtually has no tags except for the 511 uh, tab here. But if you need to go super covert, tucks in just like that. If you are like Secret Service or something. So, come here, put it down, and that rolls up, you know, just nice, and then in here, you know, of course I have my, my AR-15 from Dell Time would be an uh, overview on this uh, in the last video. So, this is overall, when it's fully collapsed, so fully collapsed, this is, I want to say, 31 inches, so it fits in here perfectly, and that's with the, you know, that's with the optic in uh, magazine, you know, in the, in the uh, mag board, so good to go there, and this uh, maximum defense you know, CQB butt stock definitely aids, because it chops off about 4 inches, uh, you know, what it probably would be, but I could be saying that, and I could be when it's uh, you can you can check me on that. And here, uh, of course, we have the air protection. Now these aren't the electronic ones. I was trying this out, uh, but I'm I'm really into feasibility. So if it's cost efficient and functionally effective, so you know, I'll I'll try anything like that. So these work okay. They're, they're definitely not the greatest. They definitely don't work as good as electronic air protection. So I do have the, you know, I do double up when I wear these. And these are just vendor fields. Now, this is probably something you would wear like cutting grass or something. Um, and then I have, of course, uh, this is just a uh, ear protection band cover. I don't even remember who makes this, but I got this off of Amazon too, so it just, it just adds to the aesthetic appeal of it, so I'm pleased with those of them. Um, and it does have this uh, panel underneath, so you can take this out if you like to, you can remove it if you just want to go straight flimsy back. Um, that is Velcro. Underneath, so you could remove this panel if you wanted to, but it, it is very convenient and it serves its role rather well, so I leave mine in there. Um, and then, of course, you have this strap and that just helps to immobilize the rifle while it's in there. I never really have any issues with it moving around because I have everything really packed down, so. Typically, don't use that. Now, for the straps, really love the straps and the dorsal portion of this bag. So you'll see here, you do have this mesh padding. This, okay. I'm being told that I have to hurry up. But you will see that it has this mesh padding here. Um, so this is extremely comfortable. Uh, you, you have your your straps. Um, 
I like this. This is this is nice. Um, I like the design right here on the buckle. Or on the clips, whatever you want to call it. Um, and of course you have some uh, uh, retainer straps here. Uh, you know, you can stick like, I don't know, a radio or anything that could be, you know, clipped on there. Um, and I do roll mines up some kind of weird way because one thing you will learn in the military is you can't have stuff, you know, hanging out. Um, so that's where you start on the strap. Um, and then you have these, you have these openings for adjusting this thermal strap and getting it where it is comfortable for you. I actually jerry-rig this part uh, here for additional um, support. And I think I took this off of like uh, an old assault pack that I had. Um, and then of course here you have your, your buckles. So I like the fact that they added this uh, this little canopy type deal here to cover those buckles. So that just helps with uh, you know the, uh, the the sound. Um, and then here again, I kind of kind of wove these things like some weird way just to keep them out of my way so they're not you know hanging forward. Um, and then of course you have a you have a drag handle here at the top, and you have a side handle here so that it can be carried uh, like a traditional rifle case. So this is the M4 20 liter low vis rifle bag from 511 Tactical. I'm very happy with this thing. Uh, if you are military. Um, hit those guys up they'll give you a good deal on it so that's all I really have for you guys today I'm Mr. Boy from Cal I want to encourage you guys if you have not or do not actively uh, engage in fellowship uh, with the church I would highly suggest you get with a group of individuals who could help you engage in further your understanding of scripture and really help you cultivate a relationship with Jesus Christ. That is all this stuff is really about. This is just me using certain things that I'm interested in to create a uh, warm environment for people to feel comfortable and eventually talk about our eternal uh, rest. I love you guys. That's all I have for you. Um, pray for me that I get better at these videos. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave it in the section. You already know what to do. Uh, I love you guys. That's an outro.